Yeah, some great days this summer to get outside and play. You know, it has been up until the last few days and we've ended up with these monsoonal thunderstorms. Some folks complaining about them, but you know, we can use the rain. Chopper 5 was out taking pictures of some of the thunderheads as they were attempting to develop over Antelope Island and the Wasatch Mountains. One report from Duchesne in the Bridgeland area of hail the size of ping pong balls. That's bigger than quarters. As we looked at uh, the latest Doppler radar, we can still see numerous showers and thunderstorms, especially over the West Desert and along the kind of the Wasatch Plateau and Cyper. You can see it's 94 in Salt Lake City right now. This is my concern. These thunderstorms here and the ones to the south that could be moving towards the Wasatch Front. Let's put this into motion. Notice that mostly they're going from south to north. Now the speed of the thunderstorms indicates to me that we could very well have microburst winds more than heavy rain as a problem, but we'll have to keep our eye on those thunderstorms. Also some strong to severe thunderstorms across southern Utah. Look at these right over uh, parts of uh, Lake Powell. Very, very large thunderstorms continuing to amass their, uh, their, their frequency. And it looks now like we have a monsoon that is developing and will move into Utah over the weekend. And I mean, first of all, tomorrow in southern Utah and then moving north on Sunday. Sorry about that. 89 in Denver, 107 in Phoenix. The west coast is dry and the cool upwelling waters of the ocean keeping San Francisco and Los Angeles in the 60s. Now watch as the afternoon heating develops. You can see there's some pretty good development right in here. And there are some thunderstorms that have moved into southern Utah. The flow is from the south, but this low pressure is kind of going to back up a little bit. And as it does, this this moisture is going to be siphoned northward. So in the next 12 hours, the best chance for storms across central Utah. And then look what happens as the low backs up towards the Baja California. Here's this surge of tropical moisture. That's going to be in southern Utah during the day tomorrow, heading towards the north. Here's Sunday. Look at the entire state will be vulnerable on Sunday, unfortunately, to some uh, widely scattered to more numerous showers and thunderstorms, some of them with brief heavy rain and microburst winds. We focus our attention, though, on the southern part of the state tomorrow. If you are planning to head into the slot canyons, tomorrow is not going to be a good day. In the north, we'll have a little better day if you have to mow the lawn, do it early. Slight chance for a thunderstorm in the afternoon. Better chance on Sunday for Cache Valley. And then we know that the low pressure that I'm showing you over Baja, California, is going to move across the state. And as it does, a drier and nicer and, uh, well, somewhat cooler weather pattern for Monday and then warmer but not hot for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is going to move into the region. But for Price, the San Rafael Swell and some of those areas you're going to be camping in this weekend, plan on, especially on Sunday, some possible drenchers, those gully washers, those uh, frog stranglers, as they call them. Very heavy rains possible, even in the Uinta Basin again on Sunday. We had that one thunderstorm in Duchesne that dropped hail and heavy rain around Duchesne, so it's possible again tomorrow. Now, thunderstorms will linger into Monday over the southeastern part of the state, so again, uh, the mornings are the driest. The afternoons are the wettest if you have to make your plans outside, uh, both Saturday and Sunday, very active weather around Cedar City, and then next week, drier and nicer weather. St. George, we had to put the shower and the thunderstorm bolt in there for tomorrow and for Sunday. The monsoon is for real. It is going to move up. It is coming into southwest Utah first, south central Utah, and then it's going to work its way up towards the Wasatch Front on Sunday. So tomorrow I'm going to do lawn work and yard work in the morning and then kind of watch the skies. Of course, I work on Saturday, so I'll be watching that on Live by Viper. But Sunday may be the more active day of the two. And then nice weather next week. Yeah, you've got a busy day tomorrow. We're going to be <laughs> watching, keeping our eye out of the sky. Thanks a lot, Dan.